Watch out, watch out, watch out. John Cena. Chick is here. Hey guys, it's Crow with another Children of Alara video. And this is the big one. This is the one that you guys have been pining over this entire time. The one I have been getting constant questions about. Hey Crow, when, when are you opening this thing? Are you insane? How much money do you have? Let's not talk about that. Let's talk about this. Throne of Eldraine Collector Booster Box. Yes. We managed to get our hands on one. Uh, it was the only one that our local game store had. Shout out to them. I'm not gonna give names because there are sources. Um, but we did manage to get our hand on it for, uh, you know, MSRP, which was really awesome uh, because I've looked online and I've seen how expensive these guys are. And they're going absolutely nuts. Throne of Drain is a hot set right now. Um, you know, prices have been going all the way up and, you know, they've kind of settled now. So that's why I figured I'd wait to film this particular video because I'm excited to kind of see what's inside here. Uh, apologies to any kind of headphone users because, God, it's going to be, it's going to be nuts. Hopefully, hopefully it's nuts. I want it to be nuts. And I think you guys want it to be nuts too. Before we begin, make sure that you ring that temple bell and subscribe for more because we're gonna be doing so much of this stuff. Like literally we have, we have, we have I mean, all this stuff I'll probably open this box, depending on how long it goes. We'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see what happens. I, I'm not, I'm not rushing anything, but worst comes to worst, it's gonna be another video. So you definitely don't wanna miss out on any of that. We're gonna be doing giveaways as well. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, stay tuned to the end of the video where, you know, we will be talking more about that. And also, make sure that you subscribe to our affiliate channel, Magic Collector. This man is absolutely amazing. Um, he is like grinding every single day. We appreciate him so much. Um, you can find him in our affiliate tab. Uh, give him a subscribe. He does daily, like, and I mean daily, Magic the Gathering content. Uh, just constantly opening packs, some really good ones. Cons of Tarkir, which we still have our box. I'm just kind of sitting on it. At this point, it's more like a desk ornament, which makes me feel really bad because I want some fetch lands. Um, but yeah, he, he really does. He's, he's out there. He's grinding. Uh, and we really, really appreciate the smaller content creators because we're all there. We're all kind of grinding. But enough about that. Let's open some Throne of Eldraine Collector Booster. Uh, there's only 12 packs in here, which is nuts. Uh, so we're gonna get through this pretty quick. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be one wild ride. So let's 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 get going. Let's... Oh yeah, I'm trying. There we go. I'm so excited, guys. You don't understand how excited I am to open this. Oh, I just probably killed so much MSRP for, for it. I don't, I don't really care. Yes. All right. So we're going to go through these. Uh, and hopefully we start pulling some really amazing uh, packs. Uh, so we get some awesome pulls because honestly, dude, it's exciting. Let's go. Pack number one. So the thing about these is, all like the starting cards are all foil. Um, so Forever Young, Ooh, Smitten Swordmaster, Charmed Sleep. Ooh, we got the Ginger Brute. The Brute. Over Aries. Battered Cow. Okay. Ooh, all right. That's pretty cool. Shambling Suit. Animating Fairy. All right, nice. Order of Midnight. That's pretty cool. 
Fairy Guide Mother. Garen Brick Carver. Ooh, okay. All right, right off the bat. Oko Trickster, nice. Wicked Wolf, that's that's kind of a... That's a, that's a swing and a miss, but damn. Oko already. Once upon a time, foil, extended art. That's really cool. I'll take that. That is awesome. Once upon a time. Once upon a time, Children of Alara opened a collector's booster box. And the first pack they got was an Oko. So not bad. Wait a second. Hold on. Is that bad? Was that the Oko? That's the Oko from the deck. That's not the Oko. That's not the Oko Cinco. But a non-foil. Interesting. I didn't know that those were in here. Now keep in mind, what I tend to, to do when it comes to pack openings, I like to stay up to date, but when it comes to like a premium product like this, I try to like stay as far away from it as I possibly can. I don't really wanna know like what I can get. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely want to be surprised. I want to be as surprised as you guys are. Um, I like that feeling of anticipation. Anyways, let's, let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we're pulling. This for River Turtle. We soul. Idyllic Range. Silver Flame Ritual. Thrill of Possibility. That's this box in a nutshell. Seriously. Merfolk Secret Keeper. Scalding Cauldron. Ooh, okay. Flaxen Intruder. Is that the Showcase artwork? If so, that's a foil. That's pretty nice. Sir Alan the Lion's Claw. All right. So that's something to do with, uh... No, I guess not. Oh, and then a non-foil. All right, that's cool. Another Order of Midnight. Lonesome Unicorn. That looks like a pretty... Pretty lonesome unicorn. Uh, Gluttonous Troll. All right, that's... I think that's one of the cards in the Brawl staple decks. Um, and, you know, kind of... Uh, hearing about like what was in here again I, I heard that the brawl is uh, packs and I was kind of really upset because they're making these the brawl like yes sure there's a massive shortage at time of filming sorry to date us um, but there's a there is a shortage but Wizards has said that they are coming up with more um, so like adding them to this product it was kind of like okay oh that's cool Stormfist Crusader, Menace, at the beginning of your upkeep, each player draws a card and loses one life, okay. Oh, yes! All right, this is the big card right here. This is one of them. Uh, a lot of the a lot of the people who love the showcase cards want this card in alternate, uh, like the showcase art. And the fact that, you know, we pull the foil one, really sick. And then we get a foil fairy. And then on the back side, there's also uh, a foil food. Foil food, foil fairy. Say that four times fast. I know I can't. Okay, so okay, it's it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, these packs MSRP for about twenty five bucks if you can find them uh, on like you know the actual like MS. I know Wizards doesn't have like any MSRP anymore, but if you can find it for MSRP, they go for twenty five bucks. Anything more than that, I don't think that it would be worth picking one of these guys up. Because it's just like really, really super expensive. Uh, Mantle of Tides, Roving Keep, Out Muscle, Youthful Knight. He really doesn't look that youthful. He looks like he's been on the job for quite some time, so whatever. Uh, Silver Flame Squire. That's beautiful artwork. Oh my god. That's the whole entire thing when it comes to Throne of Train. The artwork on this set is just, uh, it's just amazing. Um, and that's what really like drove me to be like, I need to go hard on this set. I need to get every single product. Um, but with that being said, we didn't get the deluxe edition because that's a little too expensive. And honest to God, we're hoping to kind of pull some cards here from that. But we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and see. That's an amazing foil artwork. Love it. Fling. Yeah. Let's just fling that. Uh. Grum Gully, the generous. <laughs> okay. Okay, my adversary. Order of Midnight. Okay, so that's the non-showcase. Um, 
artwork. Toonvale Vale Tree Folk. Okay. Or Moroc Knight. Yeah, we pulled a couple of those. Ardenvale Vale Tactician. Knight's Charge. Okay, this is another card from the Brawl deck. Again, that's like all the cards that are in this pack. I don't know. It's kind of going to be a whiff. Fires of Invention. Uh, extended Border. That's pretty nice. Charming Prince Foil. Okay. He definitely looks charming. Take me out on a date. Uh, I'm, I'm like, I like going out on dates with like every single card from like every one of these sets that we film. I get around. Uh, then we got a rat. Then we got another food. All right. So again, I haven't looked up prices. Uh, Red will um, Red will be the one to like kind of like put all these prices up on screen for you guys. Uh, and again. I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of in the dark about all this. I, I know Murderous Rider because again, you know, if you pay any attention to like Magic the Gathering social channels, you'll see that everyone's like, "Oh my God, look what I pulled! I pulled a Murderous Rider showcase foil. It's amazing!" All right, I collect her foil. Merchant of the Veil. Oh, there's that lonesome unicorn. But it, it, it's a little, there's a person right there. This ain't so loathsome. Forever young. That's what I wish I was. Smitten Swordmaster, Charm Sleep, another gingerbread, uh, Skullnarker Ogre, Deathless Knight, oh wow, that looks pretty cool, Giant Killer, Showcase, that's pretty awesome, Smitten Swordmaster, another Lonesome Unicorn, they just, they love us over here, oh, okay, that's so weird, so this is one of the cards in the Deluxe Edition. So this is what I'm talking about. Like, this is one of those cards that is in the set um, that you could buy from Wizards for $450. But here he is in all of his non-foil goodness. Uh, ooh, okay. This is a pretty cool extended art. Um, Castle Garen Break extended. That's, like, probably the best land uh, out of, like, the land cycle in Throne of Eldraine. So that's pretty cool. And then a Cauldron of Eternity foil. That's a that's a mythic right there. Not bad. All right. And then a foil wolf. And a foil food. Foil, 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 foil food. Not a bad pack. That was actually a pretty fun pack. Uh, we got the prince in the last pack. And we got the king in this one. All right. Now we're moving on. So as you can see, these, these packs are pretty, pretty quick. Um, we're making quick work of this. Uh... And yeah, because again, it's 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 all like hit or miss, you know. It's either you're super super excited about the set or, or like the cards that you're pulling, or it's kind of just a complete dud. So <laughs> we haven't run into any like per se duds, but yeah, we're just gonna we're, we're gonna roll into it. Weapon rack, wishful Murf, Mur, no, Murfolk. Uh, ooh, wow, that's a good one. Look at that. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Arden Vale Tactician Showcase, Fell the Pheasant, Arden Vale Paladin, Blood Haze Wolverine. Oh, let's run away together. <laughs> Just the art. Uh, Foil Savvy Hunter. That's a good card. Shepherd of the Flock. Another, I think this is the alternate art, Silver Flame Squire. We got the foil of that, which is excellent. Merchant of the Vale, uh, Toon Vale Tree Folk, Ambereth Sky Blazer, Witch's Vengeance, that's extended border art, which is cool, and then uh, extended border art foil, Sundering Stroke, not bad, and then we got a foil human and a foil food. Every single pack contains a foil food. They are really pushing the food mechanic. And it's making me really hungry. So, I mean, like, have you guys picked up any of these? Uh, if so, like, what have you guys been pulling? Um, like, what are you guys excited about? Let us know in the comments, because seriously, uh, I want to know, like, kind of what people's lucks are. Um, like, how lucky they've been. So far, we haven't pulled anything, like, too insane. Like... 
headphone, oh my God, I'm throwing my headphones off, inducing. Foolishness, Dante. Foolishness. Hold for this pack. Let's my You never know. Uh, Red Cap Raiders. Signpost Scarecrow. The Wicked Guardian. Witch's Cottage. A curious Bear. Merfolk Secret Keeper. I think that's Showcase. Barge Inn. Scepter's Shriek, yeah, Shriek, Garen Brig Carver, Smitten Swordmaster, Showcase, I believe, same with this one, Fairy Guide Mother, Arcane Signet, so that's another Brawl staple, um, it's actually kind of a pricey card, it's like around 10 bucks, but still, like, bro, it's a common, dude, like, it's a common, well, once they start post, once they start printing more brawl decks, this is gonna drop. It's gonna be like a two bucks. Uh, Worthy Knight extended, which is pretty awesome, and then a foil Hushbringer, which is cool because I wanted a Hushbringer, and I got one in foil. That artwork is just gorgeous. Look at that. Such a freaky card. And then a foil boar and a foil food. All right, how many packs we got left? We about halfway done? Yeah, wow, we're halfway done. We're literally halfway done, guys. All right. So come on, give me something crazy, dude. Something crazy. Give me like an extended border art uh, planeswalker. That's what that's what your boy wants. And normally we always hit we hit something in these in these decks. Like we 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 make our mark, man. We're not we're not uh, we're not suckers, right? Uh, Merfolk's Secret Keeper, Scalding Cauldron, Return to Nature, that's a pretty good card, just to have, uh, Foil, Toonville Tree Folk, Foil Gingerbread Cabin, Foil Ops, that's always good to have, Showcase Curious Pair, always good, Clockwork Servants, Rampart Smasher, Embeth Shield Breaker, that's pretty cool, another cur Curious Pair, okay. Uh, Reaper of the Night, Workshop Elders, and then uh, the Great Hinge is our extended. It is a mythic. Could have been a, a Walker, but you know, can't do that many uh, But it is extended art, which is cool. And then a Foil Storm Fist Crusader normal art. And we got a Foil Dwarf, and we don't have a Foil Food because we're not eating until we get this bread. Did I really just say that? I think I did. <laughs> Next up, we have the Witching Well. What do I gotta do to get like a good foil, like extended art? Uh, the Witching Well, Crashing Drawbridge, Fierce Witch Stalker, Art and Veil Tactician, so that's the normal artwork. Blow your house down. So tiny. Got Pinocchio right there. Uh, Thunder Snapper. Kenneth's Transformation. That's pretty cool. Does it transform into an elf? I thought he was. Uh... Oh no, but I guess King Kenneth is like all color. Uh, Shepherd of the Flock. Looks like Showcase. Hypnotic Sprite. Showcase. Norfolk Secret Keeper. Showcase Sir Gwyn. Look at that. Another Brawl staple. Just in non foil. Like, we really need that. Uh, Castle Embereth. Uh, again, that's our extended art. And then Opportunistic Dragon. That's what I want to be. And then we got a foil goat. God, oh, that goat looks actually. God, that goat looks like it's a. Uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Mischievous. That's what I'm looking for. Still no walkers. I mean, aside from Oko, the starter deck walker. I guess that's cool. Uh, Merfolk, Secret Keeper, Scalding Cauldron, Return to Nature, Toonville Tree Folk. How many of these are we gonna get? Gingerbread Cabin, same with that. Opt, Flaxen and Intruder, 
So it's like, we, okay, we're getting all like the same cards. I'm not even like focused on these. Uh, Sir Allen, the Lion's Claw, Fortify, Fay of Wishes, Rose Thorn, Acolyte, Merfolk, Secret Keeper, Mace of the Valiant, and then Doom Foretold. We got a Foil Wicked Wolf and then a Foil Bear. Um, Doom Foretold is pretty cool. Uh, anyone who's running Orzhov should definitely be running that card because it is it is the bee's knees. All right, uh, home stretch. We got three packs left. Ugh. I'm worried, guys. Are you worried for me? You should be. Kind of scare tactics. Yeah, can you imagine that? Being on scare tactics, and it's like you have to pull like something really good in order to like survive or something. That I'd I'd, I'd lose my my you know what. Uh, Curious bear, uh, tune. Two and Veil, Tree Folk, Flutter Fox, Red Cap Raiders, Signpost Scarecrow, Lucky Clover. Come on, this is an omen, guys. This is an omen. Uh, a Lock Dragon, uh, M. Beth Shieldbreaker. That's a foil. Showcase. Pretty nice. Okame Ranger, right? Is that how you say that? Okame Ranger, Rose Thorn Acolyte, Lonesome Unicorn. Oh, uh, see? Now, something like this, bro. Like, see? Right there. That's, that's what I'm doing with that. What? What, dude? Like, what? Turn the wild speaker. Ooh, foil magic mirror. All right. Well, that's that's not bad. Not good, but it's not bad. Uh, foil knight and then foil food. Yeah, that... Um, normally, I don't, like, rip magic cards. Normally, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a violent person. But, uh, dude, like, seriously, if you're going to be giving your customers and now don't get me wrong like i i love wizards products um i will i will constantly buy them but just like if you're gonna be putting that those kind of cards in a premium product like these packs no man don't do it don't do it that's like it's gonna make someone feel super 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 crappy uh, now, I, now i feel super crappy if I want to open these two packs. Now I'm going to open these two packs. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it for you guys. I'm going to do it for you guys. We didn't hit anything big. An entire box. It's crazy. All right, Wicked Guardian. Witch's Cottage. Curious Pair. Murphy's Secret Keeper. Barjin. Queen of Ice. Non-Showcase. Bacon to a Pie. Fireborn Knight, that's pretty cool. I love Boros. Into the story. Bone Crusher Giant. Flaxton Intruder. Two and Veil Tree Folk. Rowan's Battle Guard, whatever that means. Midnight Clock. Ooh, and then an extended um, foil, extended art foil, Cauldron of Eternity. That may be expensive. I'm not sure though. I just know it's not an extended walker. That's all I really want. They seem to be really generous with the uh, mythics. And like where they place them and how many they give you. Cause what, like that was like how many? But sadly, guys, this is last pack. <sighs> yeah, I see those bars and that sound. Let's get it. Curious pair. Two male tree folk, flutter fox, red cap raiders, signpost scarecrow, wicked guardian, witch's cottage, epic downfall, improbable alliance, queen of ice showcase, curious pair showcase, Art of Ale Tactician Showcase. Tome of Legends! What? I, I said Pyromancer! Mirror Maid! What? Ah, oh, That's a swing and a miss, guys. That's a swing and a miss. I feel really bad. Yeah, I really do. <sighs> mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest one of them all? It's not Crow. It's not Crow. I need to, I need to, I need to open something that'll, that'll uh, make me feel better. Uh, so I'm gonna open up these two promo packs. And if we don't get anything with that, I'm just gonna open like a standard booster. Standard pack. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You guys saw that? I'm make sure I have red uh edit that out. Uh, Dominus. Last cas casket. Midnight clock. Alright, well we already got a midnight clock. I don't need another one. <coughs> Alright, I'm gonna open this, this last one. promo pack. I don't even know what you can get in these. 
ha, ha, ha. I'm not going to do that. Oof. 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 It's all just whiffs. It's all whiffs. Oh, yeah. Let's just open this up. Is it two boosters? Two regular boosters. So I'm not expecting anything out of these. Nothing at all. Oh my god, we got an Oko! Oh, jeez! I'm just joking, guys. That one comes. That one comes in the box. You're automatically gonna get that Oko. Oko de Suka. Uh, what is it? Uh, the Ocho? Is that what that channel's called? You don't care about this deck. You don't care about that. You just care about the packs. You just care about the packs. I'll look up prices and um, maybe I'll like do like an update. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, I think you can get the extended art cards in here as well. I could be wrong. Uh, all right, Starfish Crusader. That thing really likes us. We have the extended art, we have a foil, and we have a, a non foil now too. I'm not crying, are you crying? You guys have seen me open up like a million of these. Spinning wheel. Ooh, who's that? He looks pretty cool. Uh, Gadwick the Wizened. Wizened? Wizened. When Gadwick the Wizened enters the battlefield, draw X cards. I'm guessing X is, you know, see that? Whenever you cast a blue spell, blah, whenever you cast a blue spell, tap target non-land permanent and public controls. That's not bad. I go into my blue deck, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna stop right there, uh, cause we've just been whiffing hard. I mean, there's, there's a, don't get me wrong, there's like a few cards in here that are pretty good. I'm not gonna go through them all. Um, obviously you guys can free, freeze frame. Uh, actually, you know what, fine, I'll do it. You guys, you guys are making me feel bad. You guys are making me feel bad. Uh, oh my god, no, <laughs> foil, okay. I'm just gonna grab the, uh, the mythics. How about that, guys? Just gonna grab the mythics. Maybe the Midnight Rider, too. There we go. That's probably the most expensive thing we've got. Which is unfortunate. It's probably not even that expensive. It all depends on, like, how good the card is. And I, I, man, I haven't read any of these cards. So. Why couldn't you be an actual, like, Garouk? I don't know, dude. I'm not even gonna grab extended art, like, rares. It's from the box, but what can you do, you know? That's that. That, that, this is our haul, guys. That's what we got. Now, if I were to, like, pony up 25 bucks on just like a single one of these packs I'd be extremely disappointed I mean, I mean obviously that, that's just that's just the Planeswalker deck one I'd be extremely disappointed uh, but thankfully uh, you guys don't have to be disappointed you know the reason why because we're actually giving away one of these collector's edition packs uh, we have one left that I did not open because um, we want to give it away to you guys. We know that these packs are super expensive and we want everyone to have the chance to experience uh, these 15 card collector boosters. So if you don't have the money or if you know, you're know you new to magic, it's real simple to enter. You know, we'll, we'll have videos explaining it probably out even before this one. Uh, but the the window for the giveaway to be open is going to be a relatively, you know, it's going to be like a month long. But in all seriousness, we want to thank you guys again for, you know, 100 subscribers. Uh, never in my wildest dreams would I think that I would be uploading videos for um, YouTube with an audience, uh, audience as big as this one. 
you know, thank you guys for, for the views. Thank you so much for, you know, clicking that like button, uh, telling your friends and family about about us, about what we do, uh, following our Instagram, Bruh, our Twitter, Bruh. our Facebook, Bruh. all that Bruh. stuff. We really, really, really appreciate it. Um, and we just hope to keep keep doing cool stuff like this. Uh, we spend money so you guys don't have to. Because that's the whole entire point of this, is we want you guys to live vicariously through us. And when it permits it, we want you guys to have a little fun in that as well. And that's why we're doing these giveaways and stuff like that. So you guys can feel like you're a part of what we're doing here in Children of Alara. So with that being said, that that's, that's all, folks. That's all we got. We'll see you on the next video, guys. Remember, again... Click subscribe. Slap that temple bell. Can you slap a temple bell? I don't know. Try it for me. Just try it for me. Let me know down in the comments. What did it feel like? Um, and we hope to see you in the next video, guys. Peace out.